Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy. I am a first year fourth grade teacher. Today I'm filming a day in my life. Um, I haven't filmed a day in my life vlog for I think honestly two months, um, like at school at least. So I'm doing that today. If you can't tell, I am extremely tired. <laughs> um, I had the worst night's sleep last night and I think it's because we've been gone for so long. I personally have been gone since last Tuesday. If you didn't know, I have been gone in Arizona just to support my family. And then we had a few snow days. So that had, has definitely thrown my schedule off. Um, so I felt like I just could not fall asleep last night. I've probably fell asleep at like 1.30. And then I woke up at 5.45 and I was like, my brain was just not having it today. I do feel better. I took a caffeine pill this morning, so... I feel like that's giving me a little bit of energy. I'm here at school. It is 7.05 right now. I am just pulling up my smart board and just getting my slides and everything ready for my kids to come in. I haven't seen them since last Monday. Yeah, so this week we had a President's Day this Monday and then Tuesday was a snow day. Wednesday is our asynchronous day. Yesterday was a snow day, so we only have school once this week which is kind of awesome because your girl needs some more rest <laughs> honestly may take a nap after i get home today because i'm just so exhausted so if you're there with me i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and i'll try to just update you as much as i can throughout my day um today is going to be just a more relaxed day i already have my plans and everything i came in yesterday a little bit and just cleaned up my classroom since I hadn't been here in a while and I just got some things done that I needed to do. You'll see I have some a few changes in my classroom. I actually have a couple of desks in here now just because I feel like it's working a little bit better for my classroom. So you'll see there's two desks. That's the only major change I've made in here so far. So everything else is pretty much the same. my outfit it is super casual it's friday i have my hair straight this cute like puffer jacket thing is from target it is beautiful it reminds me of the free people jacket but it was only 30 dollars. this white top is from a boutique that i got or not a boutique i got this shirt from a secondhand store it's just a white like uh, short sleeve and I'm just wearing these comfortable black jeggings that are from Marshalls and then these boots are from H&M. I definitely don't feel as tired as I did this morning. I made myself a cup of coffee so that has really gotten me through my morning. Um, I had a discussion with my students this morning because we had a sub once I was gone. Anyway so I had a discussion with my kids about having subs and since I left last minute it was very just like they didn't know what was going on and so I do understand why they may have acted up because they were just kind of shocked and having subs, you guys know that when you were in elementary school or middle school or wherever, you probably acted up too. I don't remember if I did, but I just know that it was so hard to just keep it together when it wasn't your teacher. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys my sub plans that I had. I actually made them during my flight on my way to Arizona. So basically I just have Miss Kellogg sub plans. I just put here my PowerPoint slides that guide me through the day, my transitions, how to get their attention, hallway expectations, helpers, behaviors, what they need to do. I also told them if they had good notes and they would get a donut party. I got this resource off of TPT. I just looked up a free sub plans template and I found this. It's really easy to use and I found it really easy. So basically all I did was I just tried to make my sub plans as easy as possible and as clear as possible so it would be easy on sub. 
um, but I just put our schedule here and I tried to add as much detail without overwhelming the sub so you guys can just kind of take a quick look um, more of the schedule here looks really long just because I broke everything up just to make sure that the schedule was um, being used so I just put down, how did the day go overall? Who was helpful? Who was not being helpful? Thank you so much for your feedback and subbing for me. And he wrote me a really long note page, which I really appreciate because yeah, that's super long. That was my first time ever having a sub. So I hope I did okay. I mean, I just appreciate that he wrote me a ton of notes because I know in detail what went well, what didn't go well, and what students I need to have a discussion with. So yeah, I really appreciate just subs in general because I know it is a tough job and they're just so needed during this time especially. I also thought it'd be fun to show you guys what we're doing in fourth grade because I honestly never show um, what the kids are doing for curriculum just because Anytime I'm vlogging at school, I feel like so flustered because I have things to do, but today I'm just taking it slow and I kind of wanted to just vlog because um, I haven't done it in a while and I wanted to take my mind off things and vlogging always makes me feel really happy. So I'll just show you guys what we're doing today at least. Um, today we just used for math, we did um, money stories so the students had to figure out how much money it would cost for them to get on a bus ride or a train ride. Today we're doing intervention right after they come back from specials. So this is basically just a fluency type of intervention where the students will read Reader Cedar. We use Benchmark so they are reading these plays that they'll perform today um, and it helps them with fluency and um, you get to group the students with their reading level so I got to do that. I don't know if that makes any sense but um, it's really fun for them and they get to perform them in front of the class. In writing, they are currently writing biographies. I let them choose someone they thought was important that they could write about. And then today we're writing thank you cards to a few people that are doing our morning announcements for us, which is the basketball team that's here in Columbia. Um, and then in reading today, we are using Benchmark, like I said. So I have Unit 5, Week 1, Day 1 um, on here. I have the link to the slides here. And then we're performing our Reader's Theater. Um, and then this is, I always add their must do at the end so they know what to do for independent time. Science, I had them, we're learning about renewable sources right now. And so I had them made PowerPoint slides. They got to choose which one they thought was most interesting that they would like to teach the class. Um, so they get to pick one. There's like windmills, there's um, wind turbines, things like that. So it's really cool. Um, and here are the different pages that I asked them to do. They're going to teach us those renewable sources really soon once they're finished. And that's pretty much all I have for the day besides, you know, like lunch recess and things like that. I don't add here, but like I said before, I use that to guide my days and just helps me keep on track and then also helps my students have a visual. Here's my morning meeting slides. They come in, they read our to-do list and everything is pretty much on here. So I've been liking just doing that. And honestly, it just makes planning it just makes planning so much easier. I look so, sorry, the lighting is really weird. I think because I changed the settings on my camera, but planning has been super easy because I've been using those slides. I use a curriculum, but mostly the slides are just to help guide me. And if I need references, then I can just use my slides. But otherwise I really quickly will read over what I have to do for each subject and then just use the slides as a helping tool. I got a lot of sun while I was in Arizona, so I like all of my freckles are out. I'm wearing foundation today, but I had to kind of bump up the foundation because I think my lighter shade for the winter was a little too light. Um, also, I have this little tendril car. I just got this recently last week. So I just put that right here next to my desk because I've realized that I ha kept having to go to my back table where my other tendril car is right here. Um, to get a bunch of things and it was just a hassle. So my important things that I have are here. So I just found these little labels off of TPT. I just went tendril cart labels and then I chose the free option because I didn't want to pay for it. So I have copy to laminate, send home, progress monitoring, student data, small group stuff, white paper, and some stickers. So love having this here. It's so helpful for me. Also, I'm really sad because I missed my Valentine's Day party last Friday because I was gone. I was honestly so bummed because that is like 
the first party that I was gonna celebrate with my first round of kids. Um, so I was so bummed that I had to miss it, but obviously I would much rather be with my family, but I am going to give their Valentine's Day things today that I didn't get to them last time. But um, two of my students brought me two gifts this morning and oh my goodness, it literally made my day. I almost teared up because kids are so thoughtful and I just think it's so sweet that a student thinks of their teacher and like wants to bring them something like obviously I don't need anything but the fact that they thought about me was just so kind so let me show you guys what they got my students got me this little cute card and um, a little like, bath and body work set um, there's like roses here at the bottom there's hand soap the strawberry pound cake, I don't know what that smells like, but it sounds amazing. And then the lotion for it, and then a little like teacher um, plaque thing. So that is so sweet, I can't wait to read the card. And then another student got me this bag. I haven't even looked yet because I think it's just so sweet. I haven't looked inside, I kinda wanna wait till I get home to look, but yeah, I thought that was so dang sweet of them. When I had my sub plans for the end of the day, I actually printed off these little cute imposter coloring sheets uh, my kids put some here on my little um, wall of things that they've made me so far but I actually got these coloring posters from teaching third grade things um, I will link her Instagram right here but she has such great resources and I just love those little posters she hand drew those and she has them on her TPT for free which is amazing so Thank you for that. I really liked it and I can tell the kids really enjoyed it because when I came in, there was not one sheet left. So I think they just colored a bunch of those. Today's gonna be a normal day. I am just kind of hanging out with my kids because I honestly really missed being at school. And yeah, I can't believe tomorrow's the weekend already, but I'm living for it. I don't know if it's because I'm a first year teacher or I'm just not good at prioritizing, but there's always like a lot of things that I have to get done that are on my to-do list and they're on my to-do list for so long. Things that like I want to get done, but don't need to be done right away. So one of those things was downloading Apple Classroom onto my iPad. If you guys don't know what it is, you guys just need to download it or look it up because you just download Classroom, Apple Classroom on your iPad, and then you have your students type in a code um, and you get to see exactly what they do on their iPads and you can lock their screen. So let's say you're having a discussion and you see somebody on their iPad just quickly, you can just lock it. Obviously, I would say something if they were still on their iPad, but it gives me um, an idea of who's working or not instead of me just walking around making sure everyone's working on their iPad I can just look on my iPad. It's really awesome I would say that I feel like it works better for the upper grades But also it's really good for the younger grades if they use their iPads often, but my fourth graders use their iPads a Lot of the day um, a lot of our projects are on iPads <sighs> the day is done so just walked my kids over to bus and parent pickup <sighs> i'm so ready to go home take a nap honestly on fridays i could use a nap but sometimes i'm just like i'd rather just chill and do things that are fun um my energy just came back even though i only got a few hours of sleep i'm like sometimes i survive better off of a few hours of sleep compared to like if i sleep eight hours which is the weirdest thing ever um on fridays we have to stack our chairs now just because the janitor comes and he will clean our chairs for us and put them back but by the end of the day the tables are tables are all crooked so i always fix them up just before he comes in just to make it a little bit nicer i always clean up my room before i leave just because i want it to look nice when i come in and not have to worry about it monday morning so let's go do that
that is all for day in my life. I just noticed today my vlog was definitely more informative than how I usually film and I just kind of thought about it. I felt like when I was vlogging at school, like I said earlier, I kind of feel overwhelmed and I'm like, I have to do all this stuff and I don't feel like talking up a storm and like, yeah. So today I kind of just took it slow and thought about what I wanted to show you guys and just took the time to do it because sometimes I'm just so flustered during the day and that definitely reflects in my um, vlogs. So hopefully today you guys notice that I'm a little bit more informative, maybe a little bit more calm. I'm very sporadic and spazzy in real life. So if you didn't catch that on the vlogs, that's how it is. I did want to show you guys the biographies that my students have been working on in writing. So I hung up a few that have already been done. So here's the first one. This one looks like Misty Copeland. This one is Kristen Bell. This one is Emma Watson. We've got Adam Sandler and then Hall Spark. Those are the only ones that are done right now, but um, yeah, it's gonna be really exciting when that wall fills up because I have not filled up that wall since we started school and they've had plenty of things that they've done. I, I just am so like worried about what's going on in the classroom that I don't really think about things to hang up. So really happy that I finally got to do that. Today, I took the time out to fill out the birthday um, wall. Checking things off my to-do list um, and it was really easy. So if you've been needing to do something and you've been waiting long, here is your Reminder to do it now. Take a quick second to do it. If it takes a while, just spread it out a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm just really happy that I got it done. I'm just going to end off the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed a day in my life as a first year, fourth grade teacher. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys soon. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can support me. And I will see you all next time. Bye!